In this tutorial, we'll be doing something a little bit different. Instead of using Arduino or a video on how components work, I'll be making this breadboard project. It is a transistor slash photoresistor breadboard project that is basically a nightlight. It turns on when it's dark and turns off when it senses light. you will need one 47k to 100k ohm resistor I in this case I use a 100k ohm resistor then you will also need a 220 to 470 ohm resistor I use a 220 because that is good for my type of LED then you'll need an NPN transistor like a BC547 or a 2N222A and I use the 2N2A one then you will also need a photoresistor or an LDR, whatever you would like to call it, or light dependent resistor. And then finally, you'll need an LED. And also, you'll need some jumper wires and a 3 to 12 volt battery. And I am using a 3 volt battery, and you have to have a battery case to connect to your breadboard. First, let's connect our resistors and our transistors to this photoresistor. So let's take our 10K ohm resistor. I have a five band colored resistor. So let's take that and put it on the right end of this. And it should be right behind it. And that means that it will connect to it. So you can see there, it's right behind it. And place it anywhere on the breadboard. And make sure you know where it is. And cause that is important because we have to connect them to the breadboard itself. And the way I'm gonna show you this is I'm gonna place the components down first and then I'm gonna wire them. So now we have our resistor connected. Next, let's take our NPN transistor. And this is not the spot we're gonna put it, but let's say. So to make sure that you know where the collector, base, and emitter are, make the flat side of the transistor face towards you. On the left side is where the collector is. The collector is one of the outputs. Then in the middle is the base, which is kind of the input. Then on the right of it is the emitter. So let's connect the emitter, or I mean the base, to the common point of the LDR and the LED, just like that. So if you can see the base of the transistor and the resistor and the LDR are all connected in one straight line, just like that. So now we have our resistor and our LDR and our transistor connected to the breadboard. So next let's connect our LED. So I'm using a white LED because it shines really bright and nicely. And next let's place our positive terminal to facing this, facing this way, facing to the left. So you see the positive terminal is the longer pin and let's make the longer pin face to the left of where you're watching the screen. Next, let's connect our 220 ohm resistors. Next, let's connect our 220 ohm resistor to the positive side of the LED, to the positive of rail of the breadboard. Because that's where we're going to supply our power on the rails. Just like that. So now we have our transistor and our photoresistor and our resistors, one of them pin is connected all in series and our LEDs positive pin is connected to the positive pin of the breadboard, just like that. So you can see right here, you can pause the video and try to copy off. And you can see right here the base, this pin and this pin are connected in series. Then we have the photoresistors, one of their pins connected to the positive rail of the breadboard and this other connected to the positive of the LED. So now let's wire them up. Let's wire this up. So let's connect the outermost pin of our 100K ohm resistor to the positive pin of the breadboard. It's like that in series, like our transistor and photoresistor. Let's connect that to the positive pin of our breadboard. 
that. And it's very beneficial if you use connectors because they're very small and compact and flat. So it's not like you have big jumbly wires up there. I don't have them, but they are good. So now let's connect the emitter, sorry, the collector, which is pin one of the transistor to the negative pin of our LED, like that. Should be in series. So when I say connect, it should be in series with the pin, like that. So the collector is connected to the negative pin of the LED. And then we have our outermost resistor connected to the positive pin of the red board. Now let's connect the emitter of our transistor, which is pin three, right there. Pin three to the negative rail of our breadboard, like that. Make sure the wires are in contact and everything. So there, the emitter is connected to the negative rail of the breadboard and the collector is connected to the negative pin of the LED. So finally, let's connect our photoresistor. So our photoresistor is pin that is not in series with the, or connected to the transistor, should be connected to the negative rail of the breadboard. And this is so it can just suck the power out of the breadboard or the battery, which is right here. So now we have all our connections. The outermost pin of the 100K ohm resistor connected to the positive pin. The collector is connected to the negative rail of the pin of the LED. And when I talk about the collector, I mean the transistor. The emitter is connected to the negative rail of the breadboard and the photoresistor is connected to also the negative rail of the breadboard. So feel free to pause the video and just copy this off on your creation. Okay, so now let's test it out. So I'm in a different room because it is very bright in my room and this is darker in here. So I have hooked up my battery. The, net, the red part of it should be connected to the positive rail and the black of it should be connected to the negative rail. So there's a circuit and now if I turn off the light, the LED turns on. And this is the one we just made a few seconds ago. So there, here is the nightlight that you have made on your breadboard. And I really encourage you to build this because it is a very cool creation and it actually, you can put it to use. Like you can actually use it as your nightlight. So here is the circuit diagram. And before I go right into this, I'd like to say thank you to Elonix Electronic Projects on Breadboard. You should search him up. He's a YouTuber that does these kind of breadboard projects. And he um, gave me this idea from one of his videos um, and the circuit diagram from his um, website. So go check it out. So right here is my transistor. Mm -hmm. So right here is the base, this top. Here is the emitter and here is the collector. So as you have seen in the circuit itself, the collector is um, connected to the LED and the LED is connected to the 220 ohm resistor right here. Also, here's the battery, the 3 volt battery. And then right here is the 100k ohm resistor. Sorry, I wrote 10. So that's a 100k ohm resistor. And that's right here. It's right next to the LDR. And you've seen here the base is connected to the LDR like that. And it's also connected to the resistor, as you have seen in the circuit right here. That this transistor is connected to the resistor and the, the base of A is connected to the resistor and the photoresistor. So right here is the LDR symbol. It was, represents like a resistor and these arrows are like light coming into it. So that is basically the circuit right there, the circuit diagram. And yeah, so you can pause the video, copy it off, or look at the picture before. And so it works kind of by the transistor is getting info from the base, like signals from the base, the electricity from the base and stuff. Because the base is basically how the input it receives, and then the collector and the emitter are the outputs it receives. 
So this is connected to the transistor, its base. So is this 100K ohm resistor that basically controls this LDR. So when the transistor receives that, it either amplifies or it amplifies the circuit. So it'll amplify the signal and give it to this LED that is resisted by this 220 ohm resistor. So it is a basic um, understanding of just the base of the transistor kind of processing the LDR and the 100k ohm resistors um, inputs that they're receiving.